My name is Zachary Kublalsing. I am the head boy of Presentation College San Fernando. My name is Christopher Rock. I am the vice head prefect here at Presentation College San Fernando. And my name is Ethan Balgobin, and I am also the vice head prefect of Presentation College San Fernando. At this time, we now invite Father Jason Grell to perform the invocation. <coughs> Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth, and the word was made flesh, and he dwelt amongst us. Today, on this special day, on this great day that the Lord has made, we thank God for his abundant blessings, his goodness, his presence among us. We thank God for the graces and the blessings he provided for us over the years and for the graces and blessings he will bestow on each one of us in a special way as we gathered here for this special occasion we pray God for God's blessings on presentation college San Fernando on the prize day ceremony this morning we thank you Lord for the graces your goodness to Presentation College. We thank you, Lord, for our principal, our vice principal, the entire staff, benefactors, those who support Presentation College. We pray for our parents, guardians, our young men. Pray, Lord, that they will have that zeal for you, that zeal for learning, that zeal for becoming the best that they can be. We ask the Lord as we celebrate this amazing, this special moment, pray Lord that in gratitude, our hearts may be transformed this morning and that we will continue to do the best we can to build a better society. We pray today that we will use our skills, our knowledge, whatever gifts that you have given us Pray that, Lord, we will, we will use it for building your kingdom here on earth. Bless this moment. Bless this ceremony. Bless our young men. Bless their efforts. Bless the efforts of the entire staff. And for those who continue to support Presentation College, we make this prayer for Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Counselor Nigel Coutier. Councillor Monrepo Navet, representing His Worship the Mayor. Professor Dilip Dan, feature speaker, and Mrs. Dan. Mrs. Jasmine Ramuta, School Supervisor 3, Victoria Education District. Mrs. Solange Bartholomew, School Supervisor 3, Victoria Education District. Father Jason Grell, of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Mr. Dexter Mitchell, Principal of Presentation College San Fernando. Mr. Kirk Phillip, Vice Principal of Presentation College San Fernando. Mr. Martin Lumpkin, President of Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association. Mrs. Jennifer Manwaring, Quality Assurance Officer, Catholic Ed Education Board of Management. Other principals, Executive Members of the Parents Council. Mr. Joel Edwards, President of the Brother Jerome Foundation. Members of the alumni, Staff of the College, other special invited guests, parents, awardees, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, my fellow students. It's an honor to welcome you to our annual prize day. This event is a celebration not only of academic excellence, but also of our outstanding achievements of our students in various fields. Presentation College has always been a platform where talent, dedication and hard work to con converge to create a success story. Today, we recognize students who have shown exceptional commitment, passion and perseverance. These awards signify more than just accomplishments. They are testament to their unwavering dedication and the support they've received from our incredible faculty and staff. Each award recipient has a story of sacrifice, countless hours of study, 
practice and unwavering determination. They, they exemplify what can be achieved with ambition, dedication, and nurtured talent. Today is not just about honoring award recipients, but acknowledging the collective efforts of the whole student body. Success is a victory shared by the entire school community. We are grateful to our teachers and mentors whose dedication extends beyond the classroom. Your guidance has been crucial in shaping these bright minds' future. To the parents and families here, your unwavering support, love, and belief in these students have been fundamental to their achievements. Your role in their journey cannot be understated. As we celebrate our students' triumphs, let's remember the values that brought them here today. Resilience, renewal, and redemption. These values will continue to guide them as they step into the wider world. We now invite our principal, Mr. Dexter Mitchell, to deliver his principal's report. Councillor Nigel Kuti, who is a representative of Monrepo Navet, and who is representing his worship, the mayor, this morning. In fact, when I spoke with His Worship the Mayor a few weeks ago, he would have indicated that he did pass for presentation College San Fernando, and his parents sent him to the United States. So I said to him that we will make you an honorary member of the college. So, Councillor, we'll present you with something in a little while in which you will present on our behalf to His Worship the Mayor. Professor Dilip Dan, our featured speaker, and Professor Dan represents the best of what Presentation College has produced over the years. And we are very grateful to have Professor as we celebrate our 75th anniversary this year. Mrs. Jasmine Ramuta, a school supervisor tree, Victoria Education District, a lady who I have tremendous respect for and who continues to hold the hand of Presentation College and all the schools in what is recognized as the best education district in Trinidad and Tobago. Father Jason Grell, our priest operating out of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, we are very grateful for your presence here today. Earlier this term, we received our, or we installed our new vice principal, and he's Mr. Kirk Phillip. And I would like him to stand so that parents, this might be the first opportunity that you are seeing our newly minted uh, vice principal. And I recognize his wife, Mrs. Philip, as well. Mr. Martin Lumpkin, president of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association. Very happy that you are here, sir, this morning. I now recognize Mrs. Dan, who has just arrived as well. Mrs. Jennifer Manwaring, she's the former principal of our sister school, St. Joseph Convent. She's now the Quality Assurance Officer, Catholic Education Board of Management. We have other principals. Mr. Joel Edwards, president of the Brother Jerome Foundation, a foundation that continues to help us as a college and help the less fortunate. This is 10 years since I am at the college, and uh, Mr. Jerome and his team have always been there for our young men. Members of the alumni who are here, and the alumni continue to play 
a very important role in the life of the college. Other special invited guests, parents, and of course the reason why we are here, our awardees, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. This prize day represents not only the last academic year, but the, really the last two academic years. Our last physical face-to-face -face prize day was 2019 for the academic year 2018-2019. As you know, 2019-2020, we were all on lockdown as we transitioned in the virtual realm in doing things in a way we were not accustomed to. But Presentation College, we are a resilient people. And so this year, we celebrate our achievers for two academic years, 2021 to 2022, and 2022 to 2023. Today, we will also release the virtual prize given for the academic year 2020 to 2021. And that, that was a significant year for me because uh, those students in that academic year were the first set of students that I had in 2013 when I became principal. And we'll be releasing that video today as well. The resilience of prayers lies in the heart of men and women who have the responsibility today of carrying forth a legacy, a rich legacy sown 75 years ago. And so as we celebrate 75 years as a college, it is indeed a time for reflection. Reflection on who we are and what we have become. Reflection on what we have accomplished thus far. Our strengths, our challenges, and we do have challenges, and our weaknesses. And while it is a time for introspection, we cannot help but stress that it must also be a time for us as a college for renewal. 75 years have gone. There are many who have cherished memories of those 75 years. In fact, a few weeks ago, we had some alumni who were celebrating their 50th anniversary, the class of 1973. Presentation College San Fernando has endured, and the prayer spirit is a resilient one. We have produced the best among us in the last 10 years, and I can speak because it was those years that I have responsibility for. We have produced many Island Scholarship winners. We have produced graduates who have emerge at the very top of the Caribbean and Cape. We had three president medalists. We have won premiership football and intercol football. And in this year, 2023 alone, as one newspaper headline says, perfect presentation college takes SSCL titles. And so it is with immense pride that as we celebrate 75th anniversary, our student athlete in the field of cricket dominated every division, winning national titles in under 14, under 16, premiership T10 and T20 without losing a single game. And we will recognize those efforts today. Whenever students win at a national level, they receive the principal's medal. And we have, we are going to recognize as well our intercol winners in 2019 because we did not have the opportunity due to COVID to bestow on them the principal medal. We were the top South School in athletics. And of course, our Liam Carrington continues to smash national records 
in the area of swimming. Just a few days ago, he smashed, I think, the 2011 record held by Dylan Carter. We have top badminton players, table tennis, and our graduates continue to be sought after by many universities in North America. And do not forget for one moment but over those last 75 years that we have given the world the likes of Professor Dan, Marshall Sidenio, Dante Gilbert, Nishad M, Marshall Montano, Kes de Fantala, Christian Homer, Zarek Wilson, and the likes of our national coach, Sean Cooper. Our graduates have impacted on every sphere of society, both at home and abroad. But what distinguishes the press man is his caring concern for humanity. And as press men, you must never lose focus of our mission, which our founding fathers have charted for us. And that really is to care for the less privileged and those on the fringes of society. And so, young men, both you and your parents must be part of the renewal for the next 75 years. And this renewal must never take on the face of hostility and resentment. This renewal must never be selfish or unkind. This renewal must demonstrate that the prayer spirit is indeed a resilient spirit. What we do as press men must never be for the likes, but rather because of the love. And in all things, we must be humble. You know, a few days ago, we defeated, I think, St. Stephen's College, and I did work there for a few months in 1989. We defeated them 9-0. And at the end of the game, I heard Coach Cooper saying to the young men, never be boastful. Never put down people because you defeated them. Because one day you too could be defeated. So humility must always be part of the ethos that is Catholic education. And our redemption lies in our capacity to reflect the true philosophy of Catholic education, one that speaks the holistic formation encompassing spiritual, academic, extracurricular, and aesthetic components. Over the last academic year, we have lost some of our team players, Ms. Satnarain, a very young and vibrant Spanish teacher who spent a year with us and has decided for family reasons to go abroad and meet her husband who is a doctor and I sincerely thank her for what she contributed to the college. Ms. Tam who has been at the college for many years and has just taken a transfer to St. Francis College in Belmont, one of our brother CBM school and I sincerely thank her as well for her dedication and service to the presentation family. Mr. Denzel Cumberbatch who was not a ministry appointed teacher but who I would have really begged the on the job training program to assist us with a graduate in social studies and history and so on. And I must thank this gentleman who contributed immensely. So despite not being a ministry appointed teacher, I could say that under his tenure, Presentation College got the best results in the last 10 years in social studies.
His tenure is up, but I sincerely thank him for his contribution. I want to take this opportunity to thank as well everyone who contributed to making Presentation College San Fernando the kind of institution that it is. You know, a few years ago, I would have asked Dr. Wayne Frederick to do an online workshop with the principals of the Caribbean and Dr. Wayne Frederick, president of Howard University, and we had him here a few years ago, courtesy Dr. Professor Dilip Dan, who would have brought him to us to be our feature address speaker. And one of the things that stayed with me when he addressed principals was that he said whenever he is meeting new intakes at Howard University, he would say to them, when you come to Howard University, you come not to get a certificate, but you come to get an education. And I also think that we in Presentation College should be thinking like that. It must never be that it is just for a certificate, but for education. And so I want to thank my staff, teaching and non-teaching, the office staff, who I want to sincerely thank because without that engine room that is the office we would not have been able to have this prize day today. Ms. Dean, secretary in the office, who I know spent very long hours even while we were sleeping to ensure that every detail in that prize book that you hold is accurate. And she had the assistance of Miss Abigail Charles uh, and OJT as well, whose tenure is up, but who we continue to pay privately to ensure that this that we have here today can come off. And a young pressman, Mr. Oliveira, who we brought in as well. And I want him to stand because I know he's somewhere here. Just graduated from sixth form, came into the office and is assisting us in any kind of way. And I say, if we could produce young men like that for our country, we'll be in a good place. So thank you, Raphael. My clerk tree, the lady who deals with the money, who, whether it's midnight, whether it's Sunday, and I call on her, responds, thank you very much, Miss Cindy Jai Paul. All members of the teaching staff, the parents, without you, Presentation College will not be what it is. The alumni, if every school in the country have an alumni like our alumni, we, education will be in a good place. Those members of the alumni who are here, I would like you to just stand. Yes, Dev, all you stand. Mr. Sam Larson, all you stand. All the members of the alumni. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Hardworking parent council. I would like those members to stand as well. They're here, I know. They're supposed to have. Yes, we have Miss Apping is here. President Arthur has sent his regrets, and I know he is in Guyana. The business community have been kind to us, and I want to sincerely thank the business community. Ms. Ramla Khan, our head of department for languages, and I would like her to stand as well.
second, this is her last year, but I trust because people don't really leave prayers, so I know she will come back next year and help us for prize day. But Miss Ramlak and all these trophies that you see here, all the prizes, she takes responsibility and for identifying those students who are deserving of awards. So thank you very much, Mrs. Ramlakan. And of course, the prize day committee led by Mr. Maharaj. Thank you very much, Mr. Maharaj, as well. I must mention Ms. Paris Hines and Mr. Hines who work behind the scenes as well to ensure that certain things get ready for today. Thank you very much. As we complete 75 years, we are far from finish. And remember, far from finish was our theme of, of our graduating class this year, the class of 2023. Yes, we must celebrate, and that we are doing today. As we celebrate our resilience as a Prez family, let us continue to support each other in the noble tradition of the Prez spirit. Let us continue to be true ambassadors, men and women who work tirelessly for the transformation of our country. And the transformation of our society will be our redemption. May our college continue to stand as a monument to every one of those who all their lives to serve it chose that it forever may be. May Mary, our mother, point the way for the next generation of pressmen for the next 75 years. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell, for giving us just a taste of the greatness that this beacon of excellence produces. At this point in time, we would like to call on Mrs. Jennifer Manwaring, Quality Assurance Officer at the Catholic Education Board of Management, to bring greetings. Councillor Nigel Couture, representative of Mova Navet Council. Professor Dilip Dan, feature speaker and Mrs. Dan, Mrs. Jasmine Ramuta, School Supervisor 3, Victoria Education District, Father Jason Grell, Parish Priest of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, Mr. Dexter Mitchell, Principal, Presentation College, Mr. Kirk Phillip, newly minted Vice Principal, Mr. Martin Lumpkin, President of the Unified Teachers Union. Dr. Ken Simon, visiting doctor from the US. Other principals, and I would like to uh, name Ms. Donna Solomon, principal of San Fernando Boys RC, the main feeder school, and also a school of the Catholic Education Board. Mr. Joel Mitch Edwards, president of the Brother Jerome Foundation, members of the alumni, staff of the college, other specially invited guests, parents, awardees, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning. It gives me great pleasure to be here to bring greetings in my official capacity as Quality Assurance Manager for the Catholic Education Board of Management, as well as in a personal capacity, as a past pupil of St. Joseph's Convent San Fernando, Presentation College was my brother's school. And later on, as past principal, I collaborated a lot with Mr. Mitchell in many administrative matters that would have benefited both our schools. I see that today, on the covers of your program, the words resilience, renewal, and redemption. Now, this is a Catholic school. So I do know that everything that we do would be reflected 
in some way that we can find a quote from our Bible. Resilience. This is how hope in the Lord renews our strength and forms resilience in us during our life's battles. Although life may be very difficult at times, God promises he will give you the strength to bounce back. Jesus said, a bruised reed he will not break. Matthew chapter 12, verse 20. Redemption. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. Renewal. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of, of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. I chose these quotes because they suited very much what Presentation College embodies, resilience, because in every storm, and I use the word storm in quotes, they are able to bounce back. They bounce back from sport, they bounce back from academics, they bounce back from everything I can think of, even in my time as a student and being connected to the school. I look at the number of trophies that are here for distribution, and I feel really proud. It is a good testament to any school, and I know that these trophies don't come cheap, but I know that any school that can give out all of these trophies, it is a sense of pride, and it gives us, it shows us that Presentation College is doing great things, and I think you should give yourselves a round of applause. definitely stands as a testament that our students are benefiting from a good Catholic education. So on behalf of the Catholic Education Board of Management and myself, I want to bring greetings and wish you all all the best and look and pray for the future of, of Presentation College San Fernando that in the next year and the years to come that the rows of trophies, we have how many tables today? Six. So we may have 10 and then 20, that every student will excel and be able to receive an award. Good morning and God bless for the rest of the program. Thank you very much, Mrs. Manwaring, for your warm greetings and your continued support of our college. At this point in time, we would like to invite our school supervisor three, Mrs. Jasmine Ramuta, who will bring greetings from the Ministry of Education. Representative of His Worship the Mayor, Ansela Coutier, Professor Dilip Dan, Father Jason Grell, President of Tutor, Ms. Martin Lumpkin, our Principal, Mr. Dexter Mitchell, Vice Principal, Mr. Kirk Phillip, Mrs. Jennifer Manwarin, the Quality Assurance Officer of the College, members of staff, members of the alumni, other principals, parents, guardians, ladies and gentlemen, and of course you, the young achievers and awardees that we are celebrating here today, a pleasant good morning to everyone. It is indeed my pleasure to bring greetings on this special occasion on behalf of the Victoria Education District and by extension, the Ministry of Education. Today, we are here to celebrate the hard work and dedication to the studies of our young awardees this morning and those of the school, you, my dear students. Your accomplishments are being rewarded and celebrated today as we also celebrate and congratulate the 75 years of a legacy of a school that is committed to excellence, to fostering and nurturing and learning environment 
where every student can thrive and build strong traditions with a culture of success, both academically and in co- and extracurricular activities. Certainly the team chosen today for today's celebration, resilience, renewal, and redemption, a 75-year legacy is very appropriate as it speaks to what embodies the foundation of your school. For it is the resilient spirit that has allowed those who have passed through the walls of this school to grow and achieve despite the many challenges and have succeeded with renewed faith and courage to make that positive impact in many spheres of life, both nationally and across the globe. So to you, my dear students, will continue in that legacy to create your own history and your own successes and will add to that great legacy. My dear students, as you journey through your school life, there will always be challenges and you may falter as you move ahead. However, I urge you to remember that your school has taught you the power of redemption, to learn from your mistakes and how to do things differently so that you will emerge stronger and better at what you can achieve. Today, you are here celebrating because you have been guided by your parents, your guardians, your teachers, the leaders of your school, and your peers. And you should always be grateful for that support and care that sometimes we take for granted. To the administration and staff of the Presentation College, both teaching and non-teaching, I say congratulations on the celebration of a great legacy and a tradition of excellence. Continue to do the great work that you do to lead your charges to greater and better heights, even amidst the challenges that you may face from time to time. To the parents who are here today, you have every right to be so very proud of your child. It is your sacrifice, your leadership, your guidance and support that has continued to give that extra determination and faith and courage to your child to do the best that he can and be the best that he can be. My dear students, once again, congratulations on behalf of the Ministry of Education to all of you today, for it is also through your hard work and commitment to your studies that you have achieved these successes. So on behalf of the Victoria Education District, I congratulate all of you on your accomplishments, and I wish you great success and God's choice blessings as you move on in your educational journey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Ramuta for your continued support of our college and your kind words. Let's give her another round of applause. I now have the pleasure of inviting Mr. Lumpkin, the president of TUTA, to deliver his greetings. Thank you, Masters of Ceremony. Feature speaker, Professor Dilip Dan, and Mrs. Dan, Councillor Nigel Coutier, representing the Mayor's Office, School Supervisor 3, Ms. Jasmine Ramuta, Victoria Education District, Ministry of Education, Mr. Dexter Mitchell, Principal of the Presentation College San Fernando, and members of the staff of Presentation College, teaching and non-teaching, Reverend Father Jason Grell, parish priest and manager at Presentation College, San Fernando, all other specially invited guests, members of the media, brothers and sisters in Christ, our awardees this morning, Parents, good morning. I stand here proudly representing the professional body which represents professional educators in Trinidad and Tobago. As I listened to the principal, I was so proud to hear of the achievements of Presentation College San Fernando, and it's no secret Although I did not attend this prestigious college, growing up, I would have heard so many great stories of this college, not only academic, 
but in the field of sports and culture. And I want to urge our educators, those who are associated with Presentation College, our stakeholders, to continue to be that beacon in Trinidad and Tobago, not only in South, but throughout Trinidad and Tobago. You have touched the lives of thousands of students, and we see it throughout our society. But we need you more than ever now. We need you, the students of Presentation College, to go out there and to demonstrate to not only the society here in San Fernando, throughout Trinidad and Tobago, but even in the world, because I know an, a number of the alumni are throughout the world making a mark and showing what Presentation College is capable of. And so my educators, my colleagues, my comrades, Tutor is proud of you. And although it is good to celebrate achievements, you have worked hard, students, teachers, educators, remember those who have fallen by the wayside. Be your brother's keeper. When I read some of the messages of those who receive scholarships, one thread I could pick up, one common thread, is that of brotherhood. And I want to urge the alumni to continue to support your brothers, for we all are our brother's keepers. And so, as a body of professionals, my comrades and colleagues, I want you to continue to be self-directed lifelong learners, but also reflective practitioners as well too. And not to just um, accept where we are now, but to go and forge for better Trinidad and Tobago. The Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association proudly wishes Presentation College a happy 75th anniversary. We say congratulations and best wishes. Once you continue along the journey that you're going, God will reward you and your tutor stands by you. Thank you very much. We now invite Councillor Nigel Coutier to give greetings on behalf of the Mayor, His Worship, Councillor Robert Paris. Professor Dilip Dan, Mrs. Ramuta, Mrs. Man Warren, School Principal, Mr. Dexter Mitchell, Vice Principal, Mr. Philip, Tutor President, Mr. Lumpkin, members of staff, parents, students, awardees, good morning. It is a pleasure to stand here in front of you all as we acknowledge the achievements of the brilliant students who have made both the school and their parents proud. Presentation College has been a landmark institution in San Fernando just over 75 years. Many of our nation's greatest minds would have walked the very corridors that you do today. Generations of former students have made noteworthy contributions nationally and internationally in various spheres. Politics, law, medicine, science, sports, arts and culture, education, and many more. This is a legacy of which you as a member of the institution shall be proud. A number of awardees here today indicate to me that the legacy of Presentation College is indeed secure. To the young lions of Presentation College, you are the beneficiaries of a healthy and competitive learning environment which encourage growth in every realm of activity, be it at academic, sports, or any other extracurricular activities. 
This practice will not only build your intellectual capability, but ensure the development of our open-mindedness and strength of spirit that will allow you to live the best life. As I congratulate the awardees on their success over the last academic year, I wish to honor their discipline, diligence, determination, and undoubtedly the sacrifice that they would have made along the way. You young men serve as an example for your brothers. In the words of Dr. Eric Williams, the future of our nation is in your school bags. As the representative of the office of the mayor of the city of San Fernando, Councillor Robert Paris, today I am pleased that your bags are indeed in full potential success. For yourselves, your school, our proud city, and indeed our country of Trinidad and Tobago. I thank you. Councillor, I would like if you could stay on stage so that uh, we can hand you a token of our appreciation. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the token that he's receiving is a very beautiful painting of the college, so it's a very prized um, token. So, thank you, Councillor. We now move into the presentation of awards, and we would like to invite Mr. Martin Lumpkin, President of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, to present the awards for Most Improved Students, Forms 1 to 4. We also invite Mr. Terence John, Dean of Presentation College San Fernando, to assist in the presentation. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to the students. So we have come to the main purpose for our role here today and our presence, presenting to our students these trophies and these awards. So we begin with the most improved student prizes. So these are form level prizes of students who would have, as the name suggests, improved over the year from form one to form two and shown that level of improvement and we recognize that today. From Form 1P, receiving the Shazan Ali Trophy, Micah Voise. From Form 1R, also receiving the Shazan Ali Trophy, Shadan Sipasad. From 1E, Avery Emmanuel, also trophy, the Shazan Ali Trophy. From Form 2P, Christian Guevara, he's unavoidably absent this morning. Form 2R, Benjamin De La Rosa. Form 2E, Kaden Kennedy. Form 3P, Ebenezer Smart. Receiving the Sean Ali Trophy from 3R, Ethan Sobranson. From Form 3E, Jean Michael Patrick. From 3S, Nathan Silochan.
from 4P, receiving the Sean Ali Trophy, Aidan Ruklal. From 4R, Benjamin Descent. For E, Quincy Thomas. From 4S, Jaden Belma. And just to step back a little bit, receiving from Form 2P, Christian Guevara. I thank you, Mr. Lamking, for your assistance. We now move into our second round of prizes. So we call on Mrs. Sarita Dan, wife of Professor Dan, and Ms. Anika Friday, a dean at the college, to present the college examination prizes for outstanding students, forms one to four. A pleasant. A pleasant good morning to all. Outstanding academic performance, first place in class. From Form 1P, receiving the Keith Cans Books Etc. Limited Trophy is Ethan Achong. From Form 1R, receiving the Keith Cans Books Etc. Limited Trophy is Matthias Titus. From 1E, receiving the Keith Cans Books Etc. Limited Trophy is Mikal Garib. From 2P, receiving the Keith Cans Books Etc. Limited Trophy is Govinda Singh. From 2R, receiving the Keith Cans Books Etc. Limited Trophy is Ethan Ramcharan. Ruben Subramani of 2E receives the Lang Group of Companies Trophy. <laughs> Dean Ramharak Singh of 3P receives the Isaac Philip and Joyce Philip Memorial Trophy. Kishab Khan of 3R receives the Isaac Philip and Joyce Philip Memorial Trophy. Marcel Ramfali of 3E receives the Isaac Philip and Joyce Philip Memorial Trophy. Jaden Manswell of 3S receives the Isaac Philip and Joyce Philip Memorial Trophy. From 4B, receiving the Lang Group of Companies Trophy is Kyle Mutusing. From 4R, receiving the Lang Group of Companies Trophy is Christian Samaru. From 
From 4E is Chioke Sobas, also receiving the Lang Group of Companies trophy. Sky Solomon of 4S receives the Lang Group of Companies trophy. Thank you, Mrs. Dan. Mrs. Dan, can you please remain on stage to accept a token of our appreciation? Mrs. Dan, a token of our appreciation. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence today and aiding us with the presentation of prizes. So we now present special awards at the ordinary CSEC level 2022. Receiving the Joseph Lison Memorial Trophy for Economics, Jadon Ramkisun. <laughs> Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Geography, Darius Allard. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Information Technology, Matthew Panchu. The Presentation College Trophy for Music goes to Jamali Lynch. He is unavoidably absent today. Receiving a Presentation College Trophy for Physical Education and Sport, Orlando Ramkisun. Rajiv Gangu receives a Presentation College Trophy for Social Studies. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Visual Arts, Jaheem John. Biraj and Montodo will receive the Anfield Services Limited Trophy for Additional Maths. as well as the Presentation College Trophy for English A, and the Modern Languages Department Trophy for French. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for English E, Christopher Rock. Christopher would also be receiving the Anfield Services Limited Trophy for Caribbean History. The Canton Palace Trophy for Principles of Accounts. and the Presentation College Trophy for Principles of Business. <laughs> Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Mathematics, Jadaya Rampasad. Jadaya will also receive the Presentation College Trophy for Physics. The Presentation College Trophy for Technical Drawing. Receiving the Anfield Services Limited Trophy for Biology, Ashish Mathura.
Ashish will also receive the Keith Cairns Books Etc. Limited Trophy for Chemistry. The Presentation College Trophy for English B. The Modern Languages Department Trophy for Spanish. and also would receive the Shazan Ali Trophy for first in exams. I would also like to invite Colin Rock back up. He also, sorry, Christopher Rock, to receive the Shazan Ali Trophy first in exam. I thank you for your assistance, Dr. Simon. We now invite Mrs. Joan Simon, the wife of Dr. Ken Simon, to assist in the presentation of special awards for CAPE Unit 1 2022. The presentation college trophy for accounting goes to Tristan Rohan. Presentation College Trophy for Applied Mathematics goes to Vishesh Rampasad. The Presentation College Trophy for Art and Design goes to Brad Babulal. The Ravi Sonilal Trophy for Biology goes to Niran Mahadev Singh. Niran also receives the Presentation College Trophy for Chemistry. Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Design goes to Tyler Sinarine. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Computer Science is Aaron Maharaj. Aaron is not here, okay. The presentation college trophy for environmental science goes to Adam Maharaj. Rafael Oliveira receives the Alan Samlal Singh Trophy for Geography. <laughs> Raphael is the OJT who's assisting in the office that our principal referred to earlier. Evan Mohammed receives the Canton Palace Trophy for Management of Business. Presentation College Trophy for Pure Mathematics goes to Rohan Basara. Thank you, Mrs. Simon, for your assistance. I know now call up Mrs. Ju Mrs. Jareen Samlal Singh, the wife of Mr. Stephen Samlal Singh, past president of the PSA. Come up and assist 
with the next set of prizes. The Presentation College Trophy for Physical Education and Sport goes to Tian Ramda. The Presentation College Trophy for Physics goes to Mark Mangaru. The Presentation College Trophy for Sociology goes to Adian Abdul. He's not here. The Presentation College Trophy for Caribbean Studies goes to Andre Ramkaran. Andre also receives the Maureen D. Tro Hossein Trophy, the Maureen D. Hossein Trophy for French. Andre also receives the Modern Languages Department Trophy for Spanish. And, wait for it, for placing first in examinations, Andre Ramkaran also receives the Shiraz Ali Trophy. Thank you, Mrs. Sam Lal Singh. We would now like to call on stage again, Mrs. Jasmine Ramuta, School Supervisor 3, to help us to present the awards for the category Special Awards Cape Unit 2 2022. Receiving the Craig Ahmad Trophy for Applied Mathematics, Josh Darabesi. The Craig Ahmad Trophy for Biology, Troy Ruben. The Craig Ahmad Trophy for Building a Mechanical Engineering Design, Aaron Aziz. The Sean Sobers Trophy for Chemistry, Mustafa Shah. The Craig Ahmad Trophy for Communication Studies, Kemwell Polyman. The Presentation College Trophy for Computer Science, Aaron Maraj. The Presentation College Trophy for Economics, Matthias Moore. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Geography, Justin Mahabir. The Presentation College Trophy for Information Technology, Alindo Gobadan. Presentation College Trophy for Pure Mathematics, Christian Changur. Christian will also receive the Dr. Dexter Carr Trophy for Physics. And this, the Shazan Ali Trophy for First in Examination. I just note that these awards were for Cape Unit 2 2022 and hence many of the students were absent because they may have been studying away or abroad or not able to. We now invite our feature speaker, Professor Dilip Dana to deliver his feature address. Professor Dan, named the 2022 past student of the year at Presentation College, is a distinguished figure in both the medical and educational realms. Originating from Rio Claro 43 years ago, his journey symbolizes resilience and success. Professor Dan attributes his success to his parents' values of hard work and community service. 
despite his many awards, including the esteemed Hummingbird Medal Gold. He remains modest and grounding, finding solace in farming. Emphasizing holistic education beyond academics, he advocates for high standards and values. Presentation College proudly honors him for his exceptional contributions to medicine and education, recognizing him as an exemplary alumnus. Can we give it up for Mr. Dan, Dr. Dan? Good morning. Thank you for the kind introduction, Mr. Sam Lao Singh. Kul Kul Lao Singh, sorry. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be invited here to deliver an address to the college for this prize day 2023 in this historic 75th year of existence of Presentation College San Fernando. Congratulations to the school and the founding fathers for this tremendous achievement and congratulations to the hardworking and illustrious students who are here today to receive well-deserved prizes for several types of achievements, be it academic, sports, or otherwise. Congratulations to their parents and the teachers and staff for their support, as they could not do it without you all. Mr. Dexter Mitchell, Principal of Presentation College and Chairperson, the list of salutations is extremely long, as it is illustrious. For the sake of time, please allow me to say all protocols observed. I know students do not love long speeches, and to not disappoint you, I have kept this talk to just under two hours, with some time for questions and answers and feedback. On a more serious note, however, the theme of this year's prize-giving ceremony is resilience, renewal, and redemption. And when we look at what is happening around the world and in Trinidad, we would agree that this is a most fitting term. The war with Russia and Ukraine, the Palestine and Israel and Hamas battle, which is causing so much debt and destruction, the brewing issue right here in the Caribbean with Venezuela and Guyana fighting over the Essequibo oil-rich region, the natural disasters, hurricanes, earthquakes, flooding, and our global warming, which has seen us see two dry seasons this year. Our crime level, which is out of control with murders, home invasions, robbery, issues with poor governance in so many structures, and economic instability and growing poverty, mental illness, indiscipline in schools, lack of respect for our own brothers and sisters. We are indeed in some trying times. Times that do require resilience, renewal of our positions, so we can once more rise again. And we as press men and women must lead from the front. I believe I was selected by Principal Mitchell to give this talk because he thought that my journey to where I am today demonstrated resilience and sacrifice and hard work. And he thought it fitting for me to try by my own story to show that these values do indeed pay off. And I indeed believe to be successful, especially in these times, resilience and renewal are traits that are required. My story started many years ago, well before the students here were even a thought. But to demonstrate even more current is the story of a young Mr. Lane Amichan, a Naparima Boys graduate who recently was a valedictorian at UWI, where he demonstrated that despite the issues of poverty in 2023, hard work and humility will pay off and one should maintain focus on their goals ahead. Now, I strongly believe that working the trenches, bottom up, doing the things the hard way, with all your heart and honesty and humility, despite the challenges and the failures that you would come, would, that would come your way, is a sure way to be successful. 
And I'm also referring to your student days as there are no shortcuts to success. Like Amichan, I also do not believe poverty is an excuse for failure. It certainly is a big challenge, but must never be an excuse. I strongly believe that discipline and focus on the goal ahead are key. Too often we get distracted by glitter and disappointment around us and we lose focus. Our dreams are lost as we get wrapped up in life's small stuff. But to be successful, one must never lose track of what you want to achieve. You may have to reevaluate. You may have to adjust your goals in this fast changing life, but the energy to succeed must never falter. And whatever you do, you must do it well. Do it with enthusiasm, with purpose, and enjoy what you do, because if you enjoy what you do, you will never have to work a day in your life. And while you make progress, remain humble, for it will be your trump card later in life. And this attitude does not go unnoticed, and a greater force will take care of your needs. Chairperson, allow me to recognize in the audience Dr. Kenneth Simon of Jackson, Mississippi, and his wife, Joan Simon. Resilience and hard work and sacrifice have been my lifelong working principles. But today, I want to also talk to you about a selfless act of kindness that can help to make a huge difference in someone's life. And to assure you, as I mentioned above, a greater force, regardless of your standing in life or religious belief, a, a force that is in charge will guide you. I had some struggles attending Presentation College, coming from a very humble agricultural home in Rio Claro. I wouldn't use the word poor, but I would use the word humble. Sacrificing in many ways, but worked very hard, and finished school eventually doing very well after some false starts. I went to Jamaica, thanks to a national scholarship, to do medicine, and at the end, did very well, despite some further challenges. I knew I had found my love for surgery while in medical school, but needed to find a way to be trained. Opportunities do come by in life, and when they do, you must take them. They are put there for a purpose. So I wanted to become a surgeon. Didn't know how to do it, at, and at the time there were no local training programs and very few opportunities in the United States for our uh, graduates. So the United Kingdom was the natural path. I didn't know how I would manage this with limited resources, but I had to find a way. And here comes the story of Ken Simon. Ken at the time was a surgeon, a chief of staff at the Veterans Administration Hospital in Mississippi. I was married, he is married to a Trinidadian Joan. He was in Trinidad for a funeral of a family member of Joan. My father attended the funeral and met him quite serendipitously. I did not even meet him at the time. My father told him I had just graduated and wanted to become a surgeon. We in life sometimes take things for granted and do not realize how little things, a smile, a thank you, an acknowledgement, a selfless act of kindness can go a long way in making a difference in someone's life, which comes, mind you, at no cost to the giver. He took up the phone, so back then there were dialogue phones, no email, and asked his colleague at the State University of New York in Buffalo, Professor Eddie Hoover, to consider interviewing me for a training. I still had not met Ken. But the power of a phone call can be amazing, as it can be disastrous. I got the interview, went to Buffalo, New York, in the bitter cold January, in a pair of moccasins and a coat I borrowed. And they reluctantly took me for a year, not expecting me to last, as I came from a third world, and expected me not to be able to cope, especially in the winter. But I outworked everyone, outperformed them as well in the exams, and forced them 
by virtue of performance and attitude to keep me in Buffalo for five years of training. I not only graduated at the top of the class, but finishing fellowship training in Washington, D.C., I decided to return to Trinidad, at which point I found out they had outfitted an office for me and prepared to make me associate professor without me knowing or interviewing for it. And I'm sorry I was supposed to bring the, 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 the nameplate that was placed on the door because my friend sent it a year after. And they were sorely disappointed when I insisted on returning to Trinidad. And it is only when Eddie Hoover visited Trinidad did he understand that the decision to return was the best one, not only for me, but for Trinidad and the Caribbean. So what is the moral of the story? Work hard, work honest, be the best that you can be, focus on your goals, and avoid getting distracted. Challenges will come your way, that is guaranteed. How you deal with them will determine how they affect you and how you get over them. Be positive and the opportunities will arise. And when they do, take them. Look for opportunities even in your challenges. Be humble as humility is your currency for success. But most importantly, be the Ken Simon to others, and I have certainly tried to be. Always be willing to and ready to lend a helping hand with no expectation of reward. The more you give, the greater you would receive many times more, especially in times when you need it most. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you all for the tremendous achievements and pray that you continue to find success through hard work and dedication. I wish that each one of you and all the other Pres students who couldn't come to this function because of the limited space, that you make this great school, Presentation College, proud and fly its flag high as you move on in school and in life. And my wish for each of you is to one day become the Pres Man of the Year, an award which I truly treasure. Thank you once again for the privilege of the podium and best wishes to all. Professor Dan, Professor Dan, please ask that you remain on stage to assist in the presentation of awards to our National Scholarship winners for the year 2021. Receiving the Mr. Roop Narayan Ramuta Memorial and Dr. Pravind Ramuta Trophy. Open National Scholarship to Natural Sciences is Kishava Singh. Open National Scholarship to Technical Studies receiving the Judge Anthony Lucky and Mrs. Central Lucky Trophy is Kaleem Bokas. Not him. Receiving the Open National Scholarship Technical Studies, the Patricia and Michael Aquin Trophy is Amir Rasul. <laughs> Additional National Scholarship for Mathematics, goes to Nival Ratan, who receives the JTA Supermarket Limited Trophy. <laughs> Additional National Scholarship in Technical Studies goes to Nikhil Batiste, who receives the Nello Ramkisu Trophy. The Winston John Memorial Trophy goes to Darnell Ramdeo for the additional National Scholarship Technical Studies. 
The Carry Webbs Trophy goes to Colin Rock, Additional National Scholarship for Technical Studies. Christopher's brother. Thank you. Professor Dan, please remain on stage to receive a token of appreciation. At this point in time, we would like to invite on stage again, Mrs. Jennifer Manwaring, who will help us present the category for Regional Merit List CSEC 2022. Receiving the Jason Daly Trophy for Additional Mathematics, third place in the Caribbean region, Ashish Matura. Ashish also receives the present Presentation College Trophy for Physics, eighth place Caribbean region. You will also receive the Presentation College Trophy for Biology, 9th place, Caribbean region. <laughs> Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for French, 2nd place, Caribbean region, Viraj Anamontodo. Viraj also receives the Presentation College Trophy for Additional Mathematics, second place, Caribbean region. <laughs> Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Physics, second place, Caribbean region, Jadaya Rampasad. Jadaya will also receive the technical drawing, sixth place, Caribbean region, the Presentation College Trophy. You will also receive the trophy, the Presentation College Trophy for seventh place in the Caribbean region at Max. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Principles of Business, 10th place, Caribbean Region, Christopher Rock. <laughs> Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Technical Drawing, 10th place, Caribbean Region, Ronaldo Mohamed. Thank you, Ms. Manwaring, for the assistance. Please remain on stage to receive a token of our appreciation. I now invite Father Jason Grell to assist in the presentation of Regional Merit Lists, Cape Unit 1, 2022. Receiving the Paul Antonio Atong Prize for Art and Design, ninth place, Caribbean region is Brad Babulal. Receiving the presentation college trophy for French, first place in the Caribbean region is Andre Ramkaran. Andre also receives the Presentation College Trophy for Spanish, second place in the Caribbean region. The Presentation College Trophy for French, second place in the Caribbean region, is awarded to Niran Mahadeo Singh.
Niran also receives the Presentation College Trophy for Spanish, ninth place in the Caribbean region. Kirsten Philip receives the Presentation College Trophy for French, fifth place in the Caribbean. The David Bassoon Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing. Second place, Caribbean region, goes to Tyler Cinerine. The Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing. Third place, Caribbean region, goes to Ethan Sue. He's not here. The Building and Mechanical Engineering, fourth place, Caribbean Region Award goes to Kareem Farrell, who receives a Presentation College Trophy. The Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing, sixth place, Caribbean Region goes to Akeem Ali. Iran Aziz receives the Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing, 8th place Caribbean Region, but he's not here right now. Father Grell, thank you so much, Father Jason. Please remain on stage for an award, a token. We now call upon Mr. Ainsley Welch to assist in the presentation of Regional Merit Listers for Cape Unit 2, 2022. Right, so once again, these are the regional meritless CAPE Unit 2, June 2022. So we may have some students who are not present. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Information Technology, 8th place in the Caribbean region, Alindo Gobadan. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing, 2nd place Caribbean region, Iran Aziz. The Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing, 5th place, Caribbean Region, goes to Kareem Farrell. The Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing, 6th place, Caribbean Region, goes to Raj Mahabia. The Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing, 7th place, Caribbean Region, Tyler Sinorain. The Presentation College Trophy for Building and Mechanical Engineering Drawing, 8th place, Caribbean Region, goes to Akim Ali. I thank you, Mr. Welch, for your assistance. I just beg your indulgence for one moment. We just want to make one little change in our presentation. Uh, one of our students, he is here present, but has to leave for an exam. And the, we think that the presentation that he's going to receive is important enough for us to just kind of cut it in a little bit. So I would invite uh, the representative from the, who would have sponsored the Haji Yaqub Ali Memorial Trophy to just come in front to just present this award.
So this award goes to the Press Man of the Year. And as I said, he is here with us but has to leave for an exam and is running a, a bit late. So Press Man of the Year receiving the Haji Yaqub Ali Memorial Trophy, Jerome Philip Harris. I thank you very much. The Senior Choir of Presentation College is well known for their rich and robust voices as well as their sterling performances. Truly a force to be reckoned with, this choir has competed in major choral competitions such as the prestigious Trinidad and Tobago Biennial Music Festival where they copped hundreds of trophies and accolades over the years. Today, the choir will perform the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is My Shepherd, composed by one of our music teachers at the college, Mr. Peter Lockhart. Ladies and gentlemen, the senior choir. Thank you to the senior choir. At this point in time, we would like to resume the presentation of awards and we move on to the category of the National Bursary Winners 2022. And we call Mr. Stephen Samlal Singh to aid in the presentation of these awards. Receiving the Raymond Banfield Memorial Trophy is Rajiv Ramdan. Not here. Receiving the Albany Amugam Trophy is Aaron Sina. <laughs> whose father will, Mr. Sunil Sina will receive on his behalf. Mr. Sina is also a valuable member of our staff. 
proud papa. Receiving the Captain Wayne Armour Trophy is Tristan Charles. Receiving the Dr. Varinda Maharaj Trophy is Shane Sukbir. Kavish Sugrim Singh receives the Dr. Sean Lynch Trophy. His father collected on his behalf. Luke Edwards receives the Dr. Varinda Maharaj Trophy. Cody Lala receives the Ian Ramnarine Trophy. It's not here. Sachin Sesnarine receives the Chameleon Consulting Limited Trophy. Sachin is the son of a past member of staff, teacher, valuable teacher, Mr. Sesnarine. Daniel Pancho receives the Carlton Mack Trophy. His father received on his behalf. Zion Spencer receives the Welch Morris and Associates Limited Trophy. Zarius Ali receives the Patrick Manning Memorial Trophy. The Presentation College Parent Council Trophy goes to Johan Pariag. The Lang Group of Companies Trophy. The Lang Group of Companies Trophy goes to Varun Manoha. Is that his mom? Yes, his mom received on his behalf. The OP Kojo Trophy goes to Danielle McDougall. Not here. The Justice Wendell Kangaloo Memorial Trophy goes to Florin Ram Saran. The Towers Maintenance Company Limited Trophy goes to Leston Rampasad. Those were the National Bursary winners. 2022. Thank you, Mr. Sam Lal Singh. We now call on Mr. Joel Edwards to assist in the presentation of the awards to the National Bursary winners of 2023. I would like to invite Mr. Dev Ramjit to please fill in for Mr. Edwards. So we now present the National Bursary Winners 2023. Receiving the Randall Mitchell Trophy, Alexander Ramsaran. Receiving the Darius Matmongal Trophy, Stephen Jennings. His dad is receiving on his behalf. Receiving the Professor Dilip Adan Trophy, Darian Ramnarain. <laughs> 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 
receiving the Dr. Sean Lynch Trophy, Mustafa Shah, receiving the Dr. Ryan Ramuta Trophy, Zane Springer. And his dad receives on his behalf. Receiving the Dr. Priti Varaj Bahadur Singh Trophy, Daniel Archbal. His dad receiving on his behalf. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy, Justin Mahabia, and receiving the Kootenay Lange Trophy, Aaron John. Thank you, Mr. Ramjit, for stepping up. I now invite Mrs. Antonia Walcott to the stage to assist in the presentation of co-curricular awards 2022 to 2023. So you know our school at Presentation College, we believe in creating a holistic education for young men. So the academics are extremely important, but to build a well-rounded young man, we have to have the co-curricular activities, and we have a lot of that at our school. The co-curricular awards. Receiving the Phyllis Gonzalez Memorial Trophy for Catholic Action is Mahes Mahabir. Receiving the D. Arthur and Company Limited Trophy, the Leadership Award goes to Jadon Sudu. The Zacks Trading Company Limited Trophy for Leadership and Social Responsibility, Community Service Award goes to Ethan Balgobin. Receiving the Bertie Lazama Memorial Trophy, Spirit of Leadership and Achievement goes to Ra Andre Ramkaran. <laughs> Darian Alexander receives the Student Council Exemplary Leadership Award Presentation College Trophy. The Kess the Band Limited Trophy for Most Outstanding Member of the Sound Crew goes to Josiah Warwick. The Kess the Band Trophy for Most Outstanding Member of the Stage Crew goes to Nathaniel Sylvester. the band tro limited trophy for most outstanding member of the stage crew lights goes to Justin Tangeri the Cynthia Lima trophy for most outstanding choir member goes to Marcus McDonald Che Nathaniel Knights is the outstanding choir member and he receives the Cynthia Lima Trophy. Not here. Josiah Ferrier, outstanding choir member 2022-23 and he receives the Kess the Band Limited Trophy.
Outstanding vocalist is Misach Nathaniel. He receives the Kessler Band Limited Trophy. Misach also receives the Kessler Band Limited Trophy for Outstanding All-Round Musician. Thank you for your assistance, Mrs. Walcott. I now call Mrs. Zobaida Apping to assist with the next set of prizes. Mrs. Apping is past president of the Parents' Council and current member of the executive. The Sedell Hines Trophy for Outstanding Instrumentalist Pan Senior goes to Darion Sinclair. The St. Maria Goretti Trophy for Most Promising Scout goes to Aidan Rahazar. I hope I pronounced that correctly. The John Thompson Trophy, Most Outstanding Scout, goes to Ethan Sijadat. The student who received before him, of course, that was Darian Sinclair. He received the Sedell Hines Trophy for Most Outstanding instrumentalist Pan Senior. You all need to hear him play. Amazing. The John Thompson Trophy, sorry, I just said that, Ethan. The Kevin Tam Trophy, most outstanding band member, goes to Alexander Nutt. The Lieutenant Commander R.N. Timothy Westmus Trophy for Most Outstanding Patrol Leader goes to Adam Paramsuk. The Lawrence Moyhing Trophy for Most Promising Recruit goes to 30184 Private Vialva J. The Lawrence Moyhing Trophy for Most Outstanding Cadet 2022-23 goes to 30187 Private Kudre J. The Presentation College Trophy for Most Outstanding Member of the Legion of Mary goes to Silas Herrera. The Ray Balgobin Trophy for Most Outstanding Member of the Chess Club goes to Kishav Maharaj. The Pustam Family Trophy for Most Outstanding Member of the Culinary Club goes to Kirstan Phillip. The Pustam Family Trophy for Most Outstanding Member, Culinary Club, goes to Avinash Balru. Not here. The Presentation College Trophy for Most Outstanding Member of the Indian Cultural Club goes to Andre Ramkaran. Thank you, Mrs. Apping, for your assistance. I now call on Mrs. Colleen Boisin, Principal of St. Gabriel's Girls RC School, to please assist with the next set of prizes. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Most Outstanding Member Interact Club, Rafael Oliveira.
receiving the Pustam Family Trophy for Most Outstanding Member Inventors Club, Liam Kutu. Receiving the Joshua Kamabach Trophy, Outstanding Photographer, Matthew Indardio. Josiah Adolphus receives the Perspective Arts and Craft Prize and Annams Freeman Solution Prize for Best Upper School Artist. The Best Lower School Artist receiving the Perspective Arts and Craft Prize and Annams Freeman Solution goes to Zizi Jones. Receiving the Kathy Ann Bowler Dukey Trophy for JC for Life Exemplar Award, Outstanding Contribution, Commitment, and Service, Kemuel Polyman. Right, his mom receives on his behalf. Receiving the Dulcina Sukdeo Memorial Trophy, JC for Life Exemplar Award, Outstanding Contribution, Commitment and Service, Andrew Singh. <laughs> Receiving the Ramdath Family Trophy for Most Outstanding Member, Badminton Club Junior Member, Ethan Ramcharan. Receiving the Presentation College Parent Council Trophy for Most Outstanding Badminton Club Member, Senior Tian Ramda. <laughs> Receiving the Badminton Club Award for Mentorship and Leadership, Amish Karim. Basketball Player of the Year, the Rudolph Dyer Memorial Trophy goes to Kyrie Benjamin. The Ricky Barrett Trophy, the Dragon Boat Leadership and Sportsmanship, goes to Anthony Allen. The Dev Ramjit Trophy for Footballer of the Year Junior goes to Vaughan Clement. I thank you, Ms. Boise, for your assistance with the distribution of those prizes. It gives me pleasure to invite on the next presenter, Mr. Leslie Hoyt. Mr. Hoyt was and has been a long-standing member of the Presentation College family. He would have been a teacher at the college, retired, came back and been a teacher again, and most recently would have been the recipient of the Public Service Medal of Merit Gold for the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. So we recognize Mr. Hoyt. And I would just like to say as well, I, I know we're in a prize day, and I want to apologize for the raucous behavior from the crew on, the, on my left. But what it goes to show is present men involved in everything and the importance of it. So we celebrate everything. The academic was earlier. We celebrate the co-curricular, nothing. That word has changed over time. I remember it being extracurricular. And it has changed to now be co-curricular because it has to become part of the curriculum these all-round activities to be able to create the type of young man that we want to put out into society to make Trinidad and Tobago a better place. So I do apologize, but I don't apologize in the same, you know, the same breath. So keep making noise. Receiving the Mobile One TT Trophy, Footballer of the Year, Senior Kanye Lazarus.
Yeah. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Table Tennis Player of the Year Junior, Ethan Ramcharan. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy, Table Tennis Player of the Year Senior, Aidan Ramcharan. The Track and Field Athlete of the Year Senior, receiving the Nicholas Westmus Trophy, Shanae St. Hilaire. The Presentation College Trophy for Track and Field Athlete of the Year Junior, Makaya Mahon. <laughs> Receiving the Christian Homer Trophy for Swimmer of the Year Junior, Liam Carrington. His mom, his mom receives on his behalf since Liam is currently studying abroad and as we had heard from Mr. Mitchell earlier, breaking records. So we wish Liam all the best as he continues his journey as a national swimmer as well. <laughs> Receiving the Keith Cairns Books Etc. Limited Trophy for most wickets taken at the under 14 level, Team 1, Shan Ramtahal. Also receiving for the most runs scored at the under 14 team one, Ethan Ramcharan, the Keith Cairns Books Etc. Limited Trophy. Ethan will also receive the Christian Ramkarasing Memorial Trophy for most valuable player in the U14 team one. The AM Sales and Services Limited Trophy for most wickets taken U14 Team 2, Matthew Passard. The AM Sales and Services Limited Trophy for most runs scored in U14 Team 2, Aidan Bodo. Aidan would have also received the most valuable player for the U14 Team 2. Receiving the Mr. and Mrs. Ravi Ramdas Trophy for most wickets taken at the under-16 level, Levi Ghani. <laughs> Receiving the Mr. and Mrs. Ravi Ramdas Trophy for most runs scored at the under-16 level, Elon Roy. The most valuable player in the under-16 level, Issa Ali, receives the Bisnat Family Trophy. I think his brother is collecting on his behalf. Receiving the Ryan Williams Trophy for most wickets taken at the Premiership Intercol. Mikhail Jalim. All right, so thank you, Mr. Hoyt, for your assistance with the presentations of these awards. I would now like to invite our newly installed vice principal, Mr. Kirk Phillip, to assist us with the next set of presentations. The Ryan Williams Trophy for most runs scored in the Premiership Intercol goes to Riyad Mohammed. The Kenny Mutu Singh Trophy for Most Valuable Player, Premiership Intercol, goes to Kaleem Mohammed. The 
we would like to ask Mr. Motor Singh, Mr. Kenny Motor Singh, former Vice Principal, to please stand so everyone can see you. Where are you? Okay. So, he's over there, he's waving. Thank you, Mr. Motor Singh. The DAC Trophy, D A K, DAC, most wickets taken. KFCT 10 goes to Agent Aidan Bachan Singh. Bachan Singh. The Shaniko Trophy for most runs scored KFCT 10 goes to Levi Gani. Most valuable player, KFC T10, goes to Ricardo Chase, who receives the Transfer Limited Trophy. The Raj Sonilal Memorial Trophy goes, sorry, for Outstanding All-Round Cricketer of the Year, goes to Nikhail Jalim. The Petty C. Paul Ali Trophy, Under-15 Cricket West Indies, MVP, Trinidad and Tobago, Under-15 Captain, SSCL Cricketer of the Year 2023 goes to Brendan Boudou. The Petty C. Paul Ali Trophy, for Under-17 SSCL Cricketer of the Year 2023, Best All-Rounder Trinidad and Tobago National Under-17 goes to Aidan Racha. The Trimax Trophy for Vice Captain Trinidad and Tobago Under 17 National Team 2023 Gold Zone Trophy for Sportsman of the Year Senior. Sportsman of the Year Junior goes to Liam Carrington, who receives the Damas Limited Trophy. Liam's dad will receive on his behalf. Give Liam our love, please, along with that trophy. The Damas Limited Trophy Sportsman of the Year Junior goes to Ethan Ramcharan. The Alfred Armugam Trophy for Excellence in Academics and Sport Lower School goes to Ethan Ramcharan. Sorry, Ethan, you're on the other page. <laughs> Excellence in Academics and Sport. Thank you, Mr. Philip, for your assistance and you will hand over to your lovely wife who will now come on stage to assist with the next set of prizes. Mrs. Natalie Phillip. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Excellence in Academics and Sport Middle School is Kyrie Benjamin. Receiving the Presentation College Trophy for Excellence in Academics and Sport Upper School is Abeyomi George. And you know, these big mouth people you're hearing over so well, oh gosh, they're going to scream loudly now. Receiving the overall house winners, the 2020 uh, trophy goes to St. Augustine. And 20, I told you. And, and 2023 goes to St. Gregory.
Okay. The presentation college trophy for outstanding mathematics Olympian, and maths is my subject area. Outstanding mathematics Olympian junior goes to Govinda Singh. The David Akalu Trophy for Outstanding Mathematics Olympian Intermediate goes to Jadan Manswell. <laughs> Outstanding Mathematics Olympian Senior is Wiraj Anamanthodo, who receives the Presentation College Trophy. Receiving the Damas Limited Trophy for most outstanding all-round student, fifth form is Anthony Alam. Come Anthony, run, run. Mr. Dragon Boat. <laughs> hey, quiet. <laughs> the Maureen D. Hossein Trophy for Most Outstanding All-Round Student Sixth Form goes to Timothy Luck. <laughs> Timothy, congrats as well. He was one of our students. Oh, you, his brother, Nicholas, sorry. Well, they both confirmed it last night, Timothy and Nicholas. Nicholas received on his behalf, and they both confirmed um, at OLPH, together with St. Joseph's Convent. So, congrats again. The Stephen and Jareen Samlal Singh Trophy for Press Spirit 2022-23. Upper School Award goes to Ethan Balgobin. I have to try to be a little louder than that, than they. The Roland Atwell Trophy for Press Spirit 2022-23 Lowest School Award goes to Adam Paramso. The Minocha Family Trophy Presentation College Exemplar Outstanding Personal Discipline Respect for authority and dedication to duty goes to Wiraj Anamon Thudo. And even though he received his award previously and he had to leave, I'm still going to mention Pres Man of the Year, Jerome Harris. Um, he received the Haji Yaakob Ali Memorial Trophy. So thank you, gentlemen, thank you. Mrs. Philip. Darian Sinclair, could you please come forward because there was a mix up and you received the wrong trophy. Darian, please come up to receive the correct trophy. So Darian will be receiving the Sidel Hines Trophy for Outstanding Instrumentalist Pan Senior. I now invite our principal, Mr. Dexter Mitchell, to present the principal's certificates for outstanding national sporting achievements. So we begin these outstanding national sporting achievements with our 2019 Intercol Championship winners at Sea Football. I ask that any members of that team that are here and I've only seen Kanye there. <laughs> right, again, this was from 2019. So again, it, it shows you for Kanye being here, how long he was a member of this team and very well now established as one of the best goalkeepers that we have had at Presentation College. So Kanye will receive the certificates on behalf of that team and we will try to get that out to them. And in your booklet, we have the 2023 cricket 
team members. And it's going to be difficult to call everyone, so what we have decided, everyone can please come to the front as a group. So all members of the cricket team, 2023. Some of you all could go on the next side. And the captain will receive from Mr. Mitchell the certificates for that championship team. Remember this team, the premiership, or the, the would have played unbeaten, would have won the league, would have won the T20, would have won the T10 without losing a game. So congratulations to them, congratulations to the under 16 who are national champions, the zonal champions, the under 14 who are national champions and the zonal champions as well. Right? And you would have heard us earlier call U14 Team 1, Team 2. That is the, the development program that we have, that we have two teams so that we develop from that level all the way up. So we are starting at that level to have our players in Presentation College to strive to be senior members of that team. So thank you, gentlemen. Congratulations once again. And then finally, but of course not the least here, receiving in the area of swimming, we have Liam Carrington. Again, his mom will receive on his behalf. Again, receiving the Principal's Medal, Outstanding National Sporting Achievements. I thank you, Mr. Mitchell, for your assistance in those presentations. Mr. Mitchell, can you please remain on stage? We now have a special presentation from Towers Maintenance Company Limited at Press Tailgate. I invite Mr. Rahel Mitchell, Director of TMCL, to present our own Mr. Mitchell. What was just presented to me by tower construction there. Our mascot, you know, is the Prez Lion. And the Mitchell family would have donated uh, these that will be erected uh, somewhere at the front of our college. So thank you very much. We just want to say thank you to some very special people who would have worked very hard to ensure that we have a very thorough and successful uh, awards function for two academic years. I want to invite Mrs. Ram Lakan to take center stage. Of course, Mrs. Ramlakan has been very thorough in ensuring that all these awards, all these trophies, etc., the correct names and so on. This is her last year with us. She is due to retire as our head of department for languages. And by the way, we know that the scholarship um, have not been announced as yet, but we do hope to speak in the area of modern languages. And that will be a fitting tribute to say goodbye to Miss. <laughs> Miss Camille Dean, who is our very hardworking secretary, 
responsible for putting together our booklet and so on. We'd like to call on her at this point in time. Okay, Miss Dean is not here. Miss Abigail Charles, who, as I said, is an OGT as well, in the office and responsible for a lot of what is happening here today. We invite her to come and receive a small token as well. And Mr. Rafael Oliveira. Raphael was here. We would also like to say thank you to Mr. Denzel Cumberbatch, who I indicated, I know I saw him, probably left. And Ms. Tam, Okay, so we just wanted to say thank you to those individuals. Uh, both Denzel and Ms. Tam would have left us just recently. Oh yes, Ms. Tam is here. So Ms. Tam is a past student of the college and taught biology for many years. So thank you very much, and I now hand over back to our very abled Masters of Ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. The choir will now perform the Peace Homeland, composed by Holst and arranged by Stroop. <laughs> 